Welcome back to Murdering Zombies in Weird Ways Part 2. Time for Last Stand. We did play a minigame called Last Stand, but there's also a puzzle exclusive to the mobile version that explains how Last Stand works. So here's the thing. I don't know if they mean, like, this Last Stand or the other Last Stand or the reference to the achievement. This is just how I always do it, but... And it works, surprisingly. I don't even use, like, half the points. <laughs> and you'd think that the fact that I'm just cancelling out the slow effect would mean something, and it just doesn't. I just sit back and wait for the magic. So yes, we did already play a version of Last Stand before, but the mobile version has an exclusive puzzle form. I don't know why they did this. They just did. Like, it's weird. It's really weird that they made this decision that they were like, well, let's put Last Stand and... I don't know why. I don't know why they did it. It's, it's weird. And because of the nature of Last Stand, we're probably not going to finish it all in one episode. Unless I, like, skip half the important parts. Well, to be fair, they're actually making quick work of the zombies. My prediction is, like, we'll get two done in an episode. Although, with how quick this is going, we might get three done this episode, and then just have to finish with two the next. I don't know if this is how other people play it, but this is how I do it. Okay, yeah, that took two minutes. <laughs> so, unlike the minigame counterpart, they actually show you the next wave. You can also sell plants. Which is a thing that they did in PvZ2 as well, where I believe... I believe you could sell a plant for, like, a specific chunk of their sun. So yeah, that actually originated in mobile. Fun fact. Unless PvG2 came out first, in which I know it doesn't but like. So it does have its differences, but overall it is basically the same minigame. I don't know why they decided to do this. Actually, I do know why, I just can't say anything yet. I know exactly why they decided to do this. It was for one important feature. Sort of important feature. Did they just bought all the packs in this game and I still have 153k left? Oh my god. It feels nice to actually have money in this game. <laughs> Since I usually never do. Also, it's not the money-producing counterpart, but, like...
Although the, the introduction of Last Stand does introduce a Last Stand to Endless, which I believe the original game does not have. So that's something. It's about to happen, but I could be wrong. No, I'm just completely wrong. It honestly might not even happen, and if it doesn't, that would be hilarious. Because it always happens. On the last wave, I actually like to just do something completely stupid for absolutely no reason at all, but I just think it's funny. Oh my goodness, for the zombies, they're actually- oh, now it's gonna happen, yep. So when this thing vaults over, enter hammer. That is, I believe, the entire purpose of this mode. Just this one feature. <laughs> That's in survival, and this mode only. Enter gotcha element number three. <laughs> it's the entire purpose. I think that's why pole vaulting zombies are in this mode to begin with. Nobody's got his eyes blank. Honestly, mid. So you can buy hammers from the shop, and that's how you get them. You start with five, though. Okay, this is taking, like, significantly... This is taking... Like, if I had to take a guess, it would be about 12 minutes. So I think it, we're gonna stick with the two-in-one episode thing. Unless I just make my episodes longer, which I can't afford to do right now, specifically. Yeah, basically, if you ever feel like things are getting out of hand, that's the time to use the hammer. Sometimes I wonder how PopCat looked at vegetables and then looked at zombies and went, those two would go really well in a game together. <laughs> like, how? How did it happen? How did they just look at the two and be like, and what if we had them fighting? And then this game was born, and it's actually really good. <laughs> Despite the interesting conflict. Oh my god, am I gonna have to use another hammer? I like how they all question if their death is coming, or at least I think that's what the question mark is for. 
They're like, oh no. Are we screwed? Flash damage really is a twat, isn't it? Yay. Okay, I'm second glad I could have used a cherry bomb, but like. Got 200 extra sun. I like to do this at the end of every wave for literally no reason. I also just like seeing them sprout in that like interesting order. It's just so rhythmic. Three potato mines left, and this one's definitely uh, taken out. I never thought that the two left would be in the same one. Honestly, I trust you guys to take that out. Yeah, one left. <laughs> no. You must protect this one with all that life. That's it, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah, it's only regular zombies, we're good. <laughs> one potato mine survives! Yay! They actually look like they've seen the devil themselves when they spawn. Like, when the helmet falls off, they look like they've seen the devil themselves. They're just scarred for life. Last stand night, I'm not as experienced with, so this might go to hell very quickly. Because I don't actually remember this all that well.
So the thing is, the 300 sun that you get at the end of each wave is exactly enough for four grave busters. Yeah, there was no way he was getting to. It's fine. One thing I can do though is that. <laughs> to waste the pole vault and also the bust a grave in the process. Pulling zombies are obviously a much bigger threat, but it's not so bad. I just realized that Fume Shroom is a giant whoopee cushion.
And if that's not what they intended, then they made a giant wolfy cushion. Alright, back to your regularly scheduled zombie murder. Probably what they intended, knowing the humor of this game. I kind of expected there to be more threats. And that's what the Great Busters are supposed to be for. So... Um, I guess I'll just destroy this one. I was looking through the Plants vs. Zombies, like, category on Twitch last night, and I was just, like, looking at it. I just thought it was so interesting, like, how so many people's playstyles differed from mine. I'm not saying that I think mine is the only one, because I know without a doubt that mine is definitely not the only playstyle. But I do think it's just, like, interesting how many different ways this game can be played. Like, I like to put the stronger points in the back, but some people put the stronger points in the front, for an example. Oh, no. Nice. The point of serious concentration to just keep go doing what they're doing and not focus on the fact that they're currently being eaten alive. Such a danger. How unfortunate.
sad part is both of them were the one of the most threatening zombies we faced. And none of them did damage to anything. He got so angry and then he died immediately. Tragic fate, really. The zombies are just approaching like this is fine. <laughs> do you ever think that the zombies, like, do you think that they have fear? Do you think that when they approach, they just see that the massive onslaught of plants that's before them? And they're just like, and you expect us to go through this. I mean, I suppose they don't have brains, so they can't feel fear. The only thing they know is hunger. With that being said, hunger is also a signal sent to the brain by the stomach. And more accurately, it's something that the stomach does and the brain recognizes, but like... Oh, I would not stand there if I were you. You're just asking to get murdered. <laughs> so maybe they can feel fear. Disco zombie. Alright. Okay, the problem with the design of pumpkins is it makes it hard to tell if they're actually injured or not. I always have to look at it, look at another one, look back at it, look at the other one, and make my final judgment. Just being me, looking at the things that I don't need. Yes! Finally! <laughs> and I got the pole vaulting zombie to jump. Speaking of which. There we go. I've never even gotten to do that before.
I used to always pick Hypnoshroom if there was a dancing zombie, just because of that one element. That it'll summon more minions for you. But, obviously this playthrough I didn't do that. Because I changed my playstyle a little bit. You know what, I'll take it. Oh god, I wasn't paying attention! Fine. It's under control. The threat has been subdued. The threat has been subdued. Although the pumpkin's injured, so I should probably plant another one over it. Funny how you think I'm bothered. Go on. Oh, that was it. I kind of thought that was on my wave. Um. <laughs> They'll never know. They only have the footage. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's gonna be it. Next time we will do, uh... Pool and fog, and then the next episode after that, we'll do roof and something else. I'll probably just get another achievement. Judging by the ones we have left, I might go for. I might go for pools closed. Yeah, I think I'll go for pools closed. So I think in Sol Invictus, and this is just a guess, it could either be everything, or they could just, or they're referencing the minigame. The reason I say that is because the last end puzzle ones seem to be at the bottom, and it's not. So they're probably referencing the minigame. But who knows?